murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save yourself. yours. He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? Who the fuck it is? <laughs> God, that lady. I killed those Let's people because they were going to fucking kill you. Uh, this here's Prisoma, known also as Caladetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... This Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. <laughs> After all, I, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. No, sorceress. Yep. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. See you later. Not <laughs> Come away. Oh. She knows subterfuge. Is there a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Yeah, there's a lot of questions here, but that was awesome. I like that. That was probably my favourite. Uh... What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. My favourite bit so far. This gate. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent um. and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. I'm going to keep a couple of ideas in the back of my head. But I think I know who Siggy Reuben is from that description. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. I got to pay for his way into Pasa Flora once. Need to wait the next three nights of worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Hmm. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. <laughs> doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally. Got it. You're not a fan, but what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Jesus. It's getting complicated. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. True. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, Geralt. I want to speak with you a bit more. Tell me, you and Dandelion, how do you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. 
Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. Yep. Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Oh, uh, he can lose very, very graciously as long as there's boobs involved. Take care now. Where are we? I ain't gonna rob this place. Might poke my head upstairs though very quickly. See. Just in case there's any missions hanging around here. We appear to have a board outside. Wrong way. What was it happened to Faltus again? He got assassinated. The Kingfisher Inn proudly invites you to nightly performances by Priscilla the Calanetta. Interesting. Oh. Where's that lady? I want to kind of confront her. I shall stop coming here. Why? Even with the war, they still manage to keep you on fire. I'll treat you now. Fuck you. No doubt it's another of Menga's ideas than cleansing the dead. And they did indeed. Can you get some shit? Really, a bit of distance. Oh, hard times. Looks like. It's like she's not here. Hmm. Let's see. Beware there's a swindler about. Fair no gradients, let it be known. Far and wide that Klaus Fetterling is a liar, fraud, stalker. What do I want? Weights and measures. Don't need to worry. Stay out the sewers. Temple guard fish three bodies following description out the sewers. These bodies were examined and identified by the, by the end of the month, then cremated. Beware of thief. So on the last one broke into the merchant gin long bodies cellar. Taken out of the barrel of triple mead. Beware haunted house and a cheating merchant. To all upstanding residents of Nevergrad, hark the words and mourning of a loyal fellow townsman. Do no business with the black guard the young with that <coughs> black guard the yonker though his line is held in high esteem and considered honorable he himself is a swine and cheats he sold me a residence at a most attractive price knowing all the while the house was haunted there can be no thought of inhabiting it for an evil spirit torments all who set foot therein for now the ghost contents itself with rattlings and, prank and prankings but who knows what foul deeds it will turn to in time let then anyone with half a wit about them stay far away from said home and never make a deal with, of any sorts with this defrauding the Yonker. Interesting! I like that. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing now? Get Junior. It counts Reuven's treasure. You know what? We're doing this one. Any. Uh, that's a haunted house, we'll do that later. Fencing lessons. We're going to do some fencing lessons, I think. I'm just really, cu I'm really curious about what happens here. I suspect I know what it is, and it's going to make me look like such a dog. But uh, nothing hurts as much as life. Be calls. Can this game really please stop being a bit too real? What the hell? 
Here we go. A deserter from the squad. Greetings! Are you here for a specific reason? Yes. Due to meet Rosa. Oh, what's going on with my audio? Okay, so Got stopped. a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's going to be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Mm. Yo, Roach, what are you doing just hanging around here? Oh, and the cat's running away from me. How nice. Oh, no. Come on, Roach. I know you can do it, because my horse can do it. Run, Roach! <laughs> Is I being attacked there? How strange. Any day now. Over here. Nelf Guardian Regiment always <laughs> accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Baratra said that... And this Excellency <laughs> is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off. Quickly. Left, right, <coughs> left, right. <laughs> Fine. I like this lady. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. Really? You're using me, my lady. You're using me. Don't like it one bit. And I don't like lacy frills and Redanian novels, but you don't hear me complaining. Now follow me. Gladly. You gonna say anything? I'm only walking because I'm expecting to say something. Hmm. Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge. Like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver sword. <laughs> we should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Well, as you wish, my If lady. that's what the lady wishes, just don't want to see anyone crying later. I've a hanky for you, just in case. On guard! <laughs> This is a real blade. Oh. Ow! Ow! Stop! I yield! <laughs> you alright? Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. 
Hmm. Yeah, why are you interested in fencing? Way, how do you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest this. <laughs> <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. Yes, yeah, so what now, my right. dear? What's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting hmm. to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Shit. I mean, what were you expecting, Geralt? They're just going to sort of course it out. Kill me. Need to find her. Like, were you genuinely expecting her to be where be to far. be sorting a corset out on a bridge in front of four guards? Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. Girls, they wanna have fun. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador of oh. daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't yeah, back off, mate. Shot, you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beast, eh? Oh, we'll accept it were ourselves. No, you won't. You're going to apologize. I believe lady. you've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For forgive me, me lady. I... I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low. <laughs> and be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Kolb. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand. <laughs> That's enough to have that hand lopped off. Hmm. And you wonder why the North hates Nilfgaard. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard. I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the... Did I miss out on something here? I'm just gonna check something. Hmm. Just had a quick look to see because I I want to try and finish things, you know, quite quite nicely. But that was quite a violent, well, not violent, but a quite a nasty end. So 
so I just thought I'd quickly check to see if there's a nice end. But no. She's quite a horrible individual. Ooh, quest available. Uh, do what we got else going on? Destination Skellige, no. Let's hit Reuven. Cool, I think I'm going to hit the Higher Rock Square, move around, start this quest, come back around here. Oh, no, there's the fast travel point. Wow, cats really do hate everything about you. Oh, tutorial messages are saved in the glossary. If you're unsure of something, read, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, I can't really say anything, that's basically what I've been saying. Oh, your presence is a front to your mother. <laughs> uh, the sights and sounds and smells of the city. Ron Vid's friend. Who is that? Oh, this guy again. You shall not have it easy this time. Let me get myself seated better. They all pledge to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too. No. No, no, they defend justice. For it is only fair you face a treason. Is that so? <laughs> for you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. Uh, yeah, I'm going to beat you all into the fucking ground. But since you've all gone to the trouble, let's fight. Uh, I didn't realise he died this time. I feel kind of bad. Oh god. Such is my quest to wander the villages of this fair land of Valen, singing the praises of Maid Bilberry. I shall bring due fame to her unequalled beauty and unparalleled charms. Maid Bilberry is without the doubt the most intelligent, most understanding, and most compassionate of all creatures to walk this uh, imperfect world. I shall immediately, and with full prejudice, correct any man who dares to claim otherwise. The most stubborn and foolhardy of these ignorani shall taste of my family blade. Indeed, just the other day I came across a certain gentleman fondling some tart and having the cheek to call her my most beautiful little flower. This enraged me so egregiously that I decided to explain to the fool the magnitude of his error, but he refused to listen, and when I insisted further, he fled. This truly is a land of cowards. I shall not rest until I've convinced all the locals that they should direct the compliments to Maid Bilbury and only Maid Bilbury. Yeah, you're a dumbass. Oh, 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 I didn't realize I'd done that to him. Oh, that's my wanking hand. <laughs> I don't know why that came out. <laughs> oh, you know, when you say some things and you're just like, why? What is wrong with you? Yeah. Anyway, we're off to question Reuven. I'm only doing Reuven first rather than Horson Jr. Because I think I know who this is. The limp. Smarts. Being quite good at crime. Being a spy. The name's Siggy. Being very close. I suspect I know who this is. Anybody there? Open up. I'm gonna bash the fucking door in.
Watch the bus. The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. I don't care. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Ruben that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bed? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. You're happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Hmm. You made this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. Yes. Happen the eunuch. I use this one. Ooh. What the hell is going on there? Is this going to happen the entire time? This might be where we end today's. Mm. I think I know what's happened. One minute. Technical difficulties. There we go. <laughs> I work, I'm playing this on my laptop because I've been playing this on my laptop the entire time rather than my actual computer and uh, power cable fell out so it went straight onto low performance to you know try and conserve energy so apologies for that guys Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room I'm just gonna have to pause it all for one second and sort my sort my seat out. Unfortunately, I live in a flat. I don't really have a computer room. So, what I do have is an incredibly comfortable, massive, giant beanbag that I have to put on a wooden floor, and the wooden floor is not the most comfortable in the world. It's so after sitting around for a little while. Your ass makes an indent, works its way to you, to the floor, moving the beans out of the way. So you just have to move around a little bit. Hi, oh, hello there. You you always wear <laughs> Let's try and avoid the boobs. As much as we can. Everyone, look. Don't look, 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 don't look. He's all like a horse. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Ah, I never realised, um, Ruben. what's it called, the King of Beggars. He was the one who was looking in through the uh, window when uh, Priscilla was singing. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, <laughs> I have the swiving loop. I was right. I know who Siggy Reuven is. Yes, Reuven can introduce me. I think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. I did not. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven. <laughs> they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I 
really wonder what Sigismund Dykstra. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Oh no. Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Give me whatever you'd like. And the boys are going fishing. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. Wish I could say that. Olson Jr. can send as many regards as he'd like. His men are still going to get their asses handed to him. We need one alive. It's not going to be this one. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse on scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. <laughs> who pranced in right before the attack. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Because... You're a paranoid shit. Not gonna introduce yeah. me to your friends. Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam, you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial needs? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. <laughs> I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Oh, many things. It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, is a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Poor son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. Angry little dwarf. Trig or whatever your plowing name is. Want to find horse, son? Find me first. He's very, very enthusiastic. <laughs> so where will I find Junior? Or hope I find Junior before Cleaver does. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. To find Horson. Now it looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got. Peasant smiles. Look at the tongue. <laughs> Good luck in your search. <laughs> I'll call on you tomorrow. Just seeing the uh, we'll one of those tattoos. <laughs> so how about we get dressed? Guy bending a woman sure. over. Then we'll talk. <laughs> That's just so weird. <laughs> but yes, I'm so happy I was right. Was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. <laughs> Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. <laughs> yeah, I had, my reasons. I had my reasons. Read the books if you want to know what those reasons are. Gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently. For example. I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, 
I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. <laughs> hmm. Intent on avoiding Clearly a war. You and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Interesting. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, nope. Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways. Agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. <sighs> Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. <laughs> oh, I love Makes sense this. to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Yeah, let's let's just go to what this. Junior's casino, near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. <laughs> yeah, how do I find the arena? arena? Sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the pits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Interesting. Mentioned Horsen's That's a way in. A house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Well, time I was off see if to I look for Horsen. See Horsen at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. They should have helped extra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Okay, yeah. You in contact with Radovid? Contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the lodge. Yeah. I'm curious Philippa about more about to do with Philippa. News? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared. Ooh, I forgot that happened. If I have any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. <laughs> master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. You see, I have to say, on the face of it, yes. But technically, a spy is someone who is paid and illegally sanctioned to do something illegal. From master on foreign soil. master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah. 
Except you used to do that in the name of some ideals. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. <laughs> yeah. You know what happens to Dandelion? Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Gap, well, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, <laughs> he might as well be rotting you down. Pissed off Geralt. Damn trombone. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. Are you serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. <laughs> you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me problems. <laughs> problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what. Oh, for fuck's sake. sake. You're paying me on top of that, right? <laughs> you're paying you on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Hmm. Don't know what you're talking no about. No idea buddy. what you're talking about. You are the worst liar I have ever known. Glad I don't need you to win a poker game for me. But we've chatted. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Hmm. Maybe I can help. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Pictures worth a thousand words and all that try. Ah, and you do realize if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. <laughs> oh, let's call it what it is a command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. I can do that. But I am curious as to what that is. Clever. I'd love a secret hideaway in a house. One day when I do own a home, I'm going to try and get that in, I think. Be so kind as to follow me. Take it, Philip Owlheart's magic didn't do that well when it came to healing your injury there, Dykstra. Let's try and actually use the stairs this time. Oh, fucking hell. What the hell are you doing there, Geralt? Really, Geralt? Really? Are we going to have this difficulty with a fucking set of stairs? Oh, I want to rob so much. Oh, Bart. Bart, stop that. Now. <laughs> Beating your head against the wall won't change that. <laughs> but less thinky. But less thinky. But sadly. I think that was if Bart thinks less, he will be less sad. Yeah, where the hell did you get a troll? Did you get a troll? <laughs> From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Siggy Bart take. 
good thing. Bart sees camels. I think that's what he's trying to say there. <laughs> Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. Fucking hell, how did I, 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 I miss that? And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfoot go! Translated Corf. into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Yeah. Can you not Why take care you of this yourself? This? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? Uh, the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be okay. obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust Interesting. me? Interesting. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart saw it. jumped that gun. <laughs> I like Bart. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. <laughs> All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Yeah. Any witnesses? Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart? No. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Okay. How the same was the value. Worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well. <laughs> Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. Jesus oh, Christ. Shiny, cheerful. Oh, God. I want to know. I can't work out what coffin is. If anyone knows what coffin is, let me know. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. <laughs> the other you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no! Boom! Hole! Bad look won't go! But look, no, only sleep. Bad shoes, head full. So they drugged the fucking troll. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Hops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes, but. Bart, troll. Not talking to you, <laughs> dimwit. Oh, Bart, you have been trolling. Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe. Shroom. Sleep go. Jorfun gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Yeah, boom. Boom. <laughs> can you elaborate? I mean, we can work out what boom is. Like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. 
gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. <laughs> oh, that's why I think I'm realising what the troll is saying most of the time. I've worked with quite a lot of idiots too. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. I had this lummox fonts thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? <laughs> I started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count. <laughs> and then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull it out. <laughs> then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of hmm. men. I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. <laughs> yeah, what kind of something? Describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it? No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. <laughs> Gotta look around the sewers should then. Look around the sewers. Got any more of that pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life here. Hmm. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll well, I mean, he's got a point. Me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Well, I believe I've got a few Dandelion. people to talk to. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? <laughs> Can I speak to Bart? Hey, Bart, got a minute? Anything strange for the break -in. Suspicious yeah. happened before the robbery. Suspicious. <laughs> no understand. Something not normal. <laughs> something strange. Maybe you saw. Oh, I'm gonna love talking to this guy. Yeah. Yeah. But here. Uh, like uh, a piece. His. The hissing like a snake. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. A piss order. Oh, hiss. Not animal or that. Right. Explosion. So like hiss. Bomb. Rock? A hissing rock. <laughs> hissing behind the rocks, I'm guessing. The hissing. Where did it come from? But his here in love tree. What? Well, 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 turdy dump. Right. Let's change the subject. But time got. Charfon go, but God, now nothing. <laughs> yeah, why do you like Siggy so, like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take back. He locked you up alone underground. Don't get bored down here. Not much to do. <laughs> when dirty <Dirty> dump. <laughs> not much do. But think, Lord. 
Uh, yeah, let's go with what about. What about, if you don't mind my asking. Rocks. Rocks. <laughs> Rocks. Interesting. Well, uh, thank you very thank much you. for your help there. So long. Bart. Mm. No. 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 Talking to you does take a long time. Some linen. Turdy dump. <laughs> Before we go in there. Can we? Oh no, 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 no. No. I was looking to rob you, Bart. Bart's turdy dump. Be careful there. Oh, anything I can rob from here. Okay. Still got the guys upstairs to go talk to. It's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. Yep. So we have this pipe here. Ooh, great. So I'm going to say a bomb was put in that pipe against that wall. And work from there. Shouldn't go any further without taking that antidote. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. If it's going to have blown through the pipe and the wall, and making that big a hole, yes. That's a serious explosive. Okay. What have we got here? And swallow for moon. Pop some old out of toes. I'm gonna move you over here anyway. Anything new that's worth having me using? No, no, <laughs> no. Okay. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Uh, do do. Oh, wrong bloody one. That's the R I want. Oh, I thought witchers' potions were vile. 